Love Among the Ruins is a satirical novella by Evelyn Waugh, published in 1953. The story is set in a dystopian Britain where society has been drastically restructured. Traditional values have been discarded and a welfare state dominates, prioritizing health care and the well-being of its citizens. It follows the fortunes of Miles Plastic, a young and handsome orphan who is employed as a star patient in a government-run hospital. Miles is fawned over and treated with extreme care by the state due to his continuous health issues. His life is regimented and superficially comfortable, surrounded by attentive medical staff and enjoying the luxuries the government offers to its chronic patients. This cultivation is part of the state's efforts to justify its expansive health care system, which thrives on treating long-term illnesses rather than promoting overall health. The plot thickens when Clara, a beautiful nurse, enters Miles's life. Clara has been recently released from prison where she served time for euthanizing her mother, a crime in this new society where life, regardless of its quality, is preserved at all costs. The unlikely pair fall in love, their romance flourishing against the backdrop of the sterile hospital environment and the larger society that glorifies bureaucracy and mediocrity. The government's preoccupation with control and longevity is not limited to health care. It extends to the planning of a new city, where ancient and decrepit buildings have been preserved and surrounded by drab modern architecture. The preservation of old structures is part of the authorities' attempts to cultivate a connection to the past, despite their new social values having little in common with historical tradition. The romance between Clara and Miles develops, albeit awkwardly, set against this landscape of political satire and dark comedy. Meanwhile, social commentary builds as Waugh critiques the direction he perceived society to be heading, towards government overreach, loss of individuality, and the suppression of traditional values. The couple is invited to consecrate their love at one of the ancient ruins in a public ceremony, considered a significant event that attracts a large crowd. This spectacle is organized by the state both as a source of entertainment and as a means of reinforcing its social values. It illustrates the government's desire to reduce even the most profound human experiences to performances that serve its propaganda purposes. Despite the strangeness of their relationship, nourished by the dystopian society they inhabit, Miles and Clara's affection for each other is sincere. However, their romance is not without obstacles. Their love is tested by their differing views on the value of life, with Miles, as a societal darling, not wholly subscribing to the same ruthless ideology that Clara embraced when she ended her suffering mother's life. This tension underscores the moral ambiguities faced by individuals in a society where government decree clashes with personal beliefs. With a growing attachment to Clara, Miles finds himself conflicted about his role as a pampered patient. He begins to see through the facade of the benevolent state, acknowledging the emptiness of his existence within the machine of the healthcare system. His romantic involvement with Clara triggers a personal awakening and makes him question his previous complacency in living a life devoid of real purpose or ambition. As the story progresses, a critique of sexual liberation emerges. The state's promotion of free love in the novella serves to illustrate the decline of traditional family structures which in Waugh's eyes are the cornerstone of a healthy and moral society. The decline of the family is depicted as one of the greatest tragedies of this new world order. Ultimately, Miles and Clara's love affair raises the possibility of redemption for both characters. Waugh employs their relationship to explore themes of love, freedom, and the human spirit's resilience in the face of dehumanizing bureaucracy. However, the novella leaves readers contemplating whether true love can flourish in an environment that dictates conformity and undermines individualism. For Miles, the romance becomes a transformative experience that brings him out of his lethargy and offers a glimmer of hope that human connection can transcend the lifeless structures imposed by the government. For Clara, the relationship offers a chance at forgiveness and a new beginning, a way to move beyond her past and find meaning that extends beyond the prescribed roles of the system. Miles's personal evolution stands in stark contrast to the stagnant society around him. He begins to see his status as star patient, more as a cage than an honor. 
The layers of irony compound as the audience witnesses Miles's growing disillusionment with his seemingly enviable position within the warped social fabric. As the novella reaches its conclusion, the true nature of the dystopian world comes into sharper focus. The grotesque prioritization of healthcare at the expense of true well-being, the absurdity of the architectural preservation amidst a society that has rejected its foundational beliefs, and the staged nature of public events are all elements that showcase Waugh's concerns about the direction of post-war Britain. Love Among the Ruins is both a love story and a conversation piece prompting readers to ponder the implications of government intervention in personal lives and the vitality of love and individual initiative in combating societal decay. The protagonist's inner transformations cement Waugh's narrative as both a critique of the trends of his time and as a timeless exploration of the human condition. The novella ends on an ambiguous note, never fully resolving the tension between Miles' evolving self-awareness and Clara's dark history. Their fate remains uncertain, reflecting Waugh's broader uncertainty about the future of Western civilization. Through the lens of dark comedy and far-reaching satire, Waugh ultimately raises the question of whether, amidst the ruins of traditional values, love can still be a salvaging force, or whether it, too, will be eroded by the forces of an overreaching nanny state.